Well, we're delighted to be joined by the man through to his 28th Crucible second round, Ronnie O'Sullivan. How was that for you, mate? Yeah, it was all right. You know, yeah, happy, um, enjoyed it. Felt all right out there. Cued OK for a change. So, yeah, nice. We've seen lots of stuff with you in Eurosport content. You seem like you're in a good place. Yeah, when my game's good, I'm happy. Uh, if my game's not good, like it has been for a long time, I'm, I'm, I'm a miserable person. Um, ne never ever going to try and cure it, because I've tried. So it is what it is, just try and get your game right. Be a bit more satisfied in yourself and content. You know, I, listen, I put pressure on myself. I don't come here to make the numbers, but I'm coming here to try and win. You know, so the margins are a lot less. So, yeah, maybe I do put myself under a bit of pressure, but... You know, that's just the way I've been born or whatever's been instilled in me. I can't, I can't help that, I just have to manage it. But um, I feel like I'm playing, queuing half decent, which is, which is good. Jim, we enjoyed watching that one. Yeah, I think, you know, um, his focus yesterday when he came out, um, OK, there's a lot at stake, but he's here to win the World Championship. But I just think he's queuing really nicely. I think his safety was good, you know, and uh, OK, Jackson, had a couple of chances the first session, but once it was sort of 3-4-0, for me, the game was over. And uh, as Ronnie said, he's happy with his game, so all systems go. How long does it take for you to become comfortable in a place like this? Because so many people, we've seen eight mm. seeds go already, mm. and they've obviously got a lot of experience. Mm. How long does it take Jackson, he's not had many years mm. here, to actually feel like, I can actually do well? Um, I don't know. Uh, Hendry was the youngest winner, 21, so I think it takes a few... It even takes us a... You know, it takes me a little while to get used to it. still coming back now because it's such a small space that you're not used to playing in such a small environment and having the crowd on top of you. So it's, it just takes time for, for it to adjust before it becomes normal. But, uh, it's, listen, it's a hard venue. <laughs> that many times you come here, it, it, it finds you out. You know, you get great players that come here, can never win it um, because, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there. That's what the Crucible can bring to it. You know, um, it's a tough venue to play well in sometimes, you know. Is the performance, obviously, I know the performance is of paramount importance to you. Is it a bonus to win mm. as comfortably as 10 won for what's to <sighs> potentially come? Uh, no, I'm not really bothered, uh, you know, if. Um, if if it has to go tight, it has to go tight, you know. Uh, mm. I mean, every World Championships I've won, I don't think anyone's got within three or four frames of me. So I was looking back at it the other day and sometimes mm. you think, oh, they've been tight, you know, how did I win that? And I look back and I think, oh, no one really got near me, you know. So um, just to let the tournament unravel. It goes how it goes, mm. you know, there's not a lot, you know. Mm. Is it nice to save your energy? Because you've kind of spoken before about it being like a snake a bow constrictor that slowly, as you get throughout the tournament, so to save yourself a little bit? Well, it's the same for everybody, so, you know, I don't care. You know, we've, we've all got to play the same amount of matches, the same amount of frames. You know, it's the, the toughest survive. So, yeah. if that happens to be me at the end of the week, great. If it doesn't, last year it was Luca. But, you know, that's what I'm saying, it never gets any easier every year. It's still who's got the mental capacity to handle the pressure, you know. You're not going to have it all your own way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the guys that um, don't like that situation don't end up doing that well here, you know, so you've got to enjoy that, you've got to embrace it, see it as a pleasure, um, although I don't feel like it out there when you've got it on you, but that's what you have to do, you have to dig deep and find a way to play well under pressure, you know, that's, that's the important thing. How's your elbow getting on, by the way? It's, it's all right. Um, I can play snooker, which is all right, um, but yeah, I'm all right, so holding it does... together. Before you were kind of talking about on air, you were telling us it was hurting on each shot, I think it was at the Masters. That was a while ago, yeah. yeah. Um, kind of, it's been all right for a while. I think I, yeah, it's been all right for about nine months now, you know, I just can't do anything strenuous with it, you know. And one thing we were talking about is the importance of atmosphere to players. Yeah. Do you get a sense of that when you're playing, when there's a good atmosphere and crowds are knowledgeable? Uh, I think you create the atmosphere as a player, you know, you can play in front of the most amazing crowd venue, but if you're both not really setting any fireworks on it can you can kill kill a kill an atmosphere you know I've played in this arena it's been like pff, thought well nothing's going on here and then you can go out there and perform and that's when you know you feel like you've you've brought something energy to the room you know so that's what I enjoy you know I like bringing an energy to the table um, I feel it I know the crowd feel it I feel how they respond to me so that's an addiction you know like <laughs> when you can do that and you play like that, it's a great feeling, but when you're struggling out there and you're not giving that, you know, and the crowd ain't getting that buzz, you feel a little bit disappointed for them in a way, you know, you feel like you've let them down in a way, you know, because they might have only come to watch snooker that one time, you know, so you want to give them a, a good, good, um, good showing, you know. You were saying just a, a couple of minutes ago that your game feels in a pretty decent yeah. uh, nick at the moment. What, in comparison with the rest of the season, Albeit, you know, you won five tournaments mm. and you weren't totally happy with your, mm. some of your performances. So, d it, does it feel better now than it did 
five months ago, say? Oh, for the last two years, yeah. I've been, you know, like a lot of matches, I've just had to throw the kitchen sink at a session, like against Williams in that final. I thought, I've got one session to throw the kitchen sink at it, in, and I did that and got 5 3, but you can't keep throwing a kitchen sink at it. Whereas that game, I was just playing second, third gear most of the match, you know, and if a little bit better came, great, but if it didn't, I was able to just sort of play within that comfort zone, and, um, and hopefully, if he would have improved, I would have improved. But I haven't been able to do that for two years. I've just had to find the odd session when it mattered. You know, I, you know, I choose when to try and throw the ch kitchen sink it. I don't just go out there and throw it at it. You know, I have to pick my battles. Um, but, you know, hopefully if I get my game right, I can cruise a bit more and, and, and be more lethal when I need to be, you know?